Hi, I'm Ilya from BitScout. In this short video, I wanted to show you how you can extract data from bank statements that you load in Google Drive into your Excel or Google Sheets. First of all, you probably already have created a plugin called uh, Bank Statements here. You can find it in the templates if you go like this. Uh, you will see it here. Okay, just press Use Template and then choose it again. Now, in, uh, so here I have prepared a Google Drive folder where I have my um, bank statement loaded. And here we start creating a Zapier. Zap, the first trigger is new file in a folder. Then we will need to choose the, our accounts. And then we need to choose the folder where the file will appear. All right? Okay. And here is my folder. And then you will run a test. Um, where you will see like lots of files. So I know that my file is called monthly statement. So I'm going to take it. And the next step is to choose BitScout. Okay, here it is. And then an event in this case, we're not using a direct action. So we're going to use run plugin for file. And here we need to choose an account. In this case, I'm using my own account. Let's continue. And then the plugin in this case is called Bank Statements. We just need to find it. I have lots of them, so I'm going to choose the last one that I have created. And the file URL. So here is the tricky part. You need to choose this one. You see file exists but not shown. Not, some, not anything else. Okay. Then, all right. The reason for that is that uh, Zapier will prepare the file URL correct. Okay, and let's run a test. Okay, so here is our data, lots of it. But most importantly, now we can map this data into a Google Sheet. So I'm gonna grab uh, just a Google Sheet uh, for testing. We need to choose create spreadsheet row, not multiple rows, but spreadsheet row. Continue, choose an account, and then we need to choose the spreadsheet. Okay. So I should have a testing spreadsheet. Yes. And inside the spreadsheet, we need to choose a worksheet. Okay, I've been testing CMR here. So but the point is, now you can choose, you know, the, the data, the balances, everything that you need, except for um, transactions. Transactions are coming in CSV. So you need to process them in a loop like you if you would process the CSV file in Zapier. Okay? In our next video I will try to show you how to do that in Zapier. Thanks a lot.